Good morning. I am waiting for my friend Bo to arrive. I'm staying at uh, Tisvillaya Beach. Uh, there's this big parking lot where I'm boondogging. And uh, I'm just waiting for him to arrive and then we're gonna go for a walk on the beach. It is very, very beautiful. You know, I enjoy these kind of things and so does Bo. So, uh, see you when he arrives. Jeg ved ikke, hvordan reglerne er her, men det er garanteret lige sådan nede ved Hornbæk, at øh, i vinter halve år, der må de gå med dem uden snor. Men så er der så det, at i sommerhalvåret, ja, der må de slet ikke komme der. Nej. Altså i sommerferieperioden, der må hunden slet ikke komme på stranden. Jeg kan også godt mærke på min lægmuskler, at jeg har gået strand ja. de sidste dage. Ja. Det er sundt. Good morning. It is uh, quarter to seven, Friday morning, and uh, I'm about to drive out from my boondock place. It's a uh, beautiful but uh, cold morning. It was just below freezing last night, so uh, I'm just waiting for the ice to melt off the of the windscreen, and then. Uh, then I'll be ready to drive out for him here. Um, well, I have to work tomorrow, <laughs> so uh, I will uh, drive closer to where I work today and uh, boondock not too far away from where I work because anyway, I need to go to work 8 o'clock in the morning, so I don't want to have to drive a lot tomorrow morning. But um, I also got some things I need to do today. First of all, I need to do laundry. It's been almost two weeks and uh, well, it need to be done. Well, then just enjoy myself for the rest of the day, I guess. Um, but um, the ice is almost off the windscreen now, so uh, I guess we need to get going. Okay, got the rest of the ice off the windscreen, got the seat belt on, everything should be ready. And the nest is hooked up and the jacks are raised and everything should be, everything should be ready. Let's go.
had a very good night of sleep last night. It was completely black dark in this place. No light whatsoever. And it was quiet. That's just the way I like it. In this time, in this town, they didn't put speed bumps. They slow the traffic down in another way. They put the parking slots on the side of the road like this so that it narrows the road. And then makes so that you have to slow down. It's just very narrow. back that's exactly where I'm going I found out that there is a laundry mat in Fox back so uh, I'm gonna see if I can find that it's really beautiful this morning with the frost on the on the ground and the Sun and everything and the beautiful sky <laughs> life is good You know, when you look for it, you can really find beauty everywhere. You can find beautiful places, beautiful people, just about anywhere, you know. I know someone said in a comment that Denmark is very beautiful. And yeah, it is. It is a very beautiful country, Denmark. But there's beautiful places everywhere. And beautiful people. You just need to know where, how to look <coughs> and have an open mind at least. Keep an open mind and you will find beautiful people, beautiful places just about any, anywhere in the world. But a morning like this, oh wow! I never use GPS. I do actually have a GPS in my phone, but I never use it. I don't know if it's just here, or, but in, in Denmark, the, um, there's so much road signs that if you know where you're going, you just look at the signs and then you can find your way. So it's not a problem. And I have this idea that the more you use GPS, the less you can find your way b without it. Same thing when before I before I got my first cell phone, I could remember all the phone numbers of all my friends, friends and family. But then I got the cell phone and I put all the numbers in there. Now I can't root. <laughs> now I can't remember any phone numbers at all. If you don't use it, you lose it. Same thing with finding your way, I think.
I will go have a look, see if it's uh, if I can pay with the credit card or if I have to go get uh, some cash. Be right back. I am parked outside the laundry mat where I normally do my laundry. Some of you would maybe say, what happened to the laundry mat in Frederiksberg? The other one. I went inside and had a look and uh, the prices was like half time more than at this place. So uh, I decided to uh, go to the normal place. I would pass this place anyway, so uh, never mind. I think I will have to go get some money at the bank. I don't have enough for... No. I... Oh, maybe. No. I don't have enough for doing laundry, so I have to go to the ATM and get some, some cash. So, see you guys in a bit. I found this very very nice spot. I'm parked at uh, Marbeck Strand Park and uh, I've been boondogging there before so uh, you know that place but uh, I took a walk and I think I'm like three or four three or four kilometer away from uh, that's like two three miles away from uh, Marbeck Strand Park and I was walking along the beach. It's this this uh, vacation, it really changed something. It's um, if I had just the slightest doubt before, I don't anymore. Now I I know how my future look. I am for sure going to be a nomad into the future as far as I can see. I don't see any reason to stop this. The last five days have been such a great experience. I've enjoyed it so much. Really, really good. Just the fact that, you know, going to a place, staying there for a little while, next day, pack up, drive to the next place, no, f no fixed plans or anything, just, you know, driving along. It's been so great. Just when I see a place, oh, that looked nice. Okay, stay there. I've enjoyed this so much. I see no reason for sticks and bricks anymore. None at all, at all. None at all. Well, this, the sound out here, just the sound of the birds you see out here, the swans and the ducks and seagulls and stuff. So beautiful. This is the last uh, of the vacation videos. It's, uh, obviously, I'm gonna continue making videos, no doubt about that. But during this vacation, I could make a video a day. I can't normally do that. I can't normally do that when I work. Tomorrow I am back to work. The end of the holiday, the rest of the day I'm go I'm gonna walk and enjoy myself and then cook some dinner later on, get this video edited, get it ready and put it up. Well thank you guys for following me. 
and thank you guys for commenting and watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Take care of yourselves. And remember, life is good. Bye-bye.